back. This is video number six in our series, Practice Ukulele Chords with Jason. I hope you're finding these really helpful. Please comment, please share, and please keep coming back to practice with me. Repetition is key. So in this video, we're going to look at a lovely chord, a chord called G7. This is G7 up here. Whoops. Try and make the habit of always writing the name of the chord at the top. G7. The seven chords are really strange, wonderful chords. Um, major chords tend to sound happy or aggressive. Minor chords are wistful or sometimes a little bit sad or melancholy. Seven chords are neither of those two. The sort of feeling you get from a seven chord is that it needs to go on to another chord. <laughs> so you really very rarely end a song on a seven. So G7 is a lovely chord to play. You'll find it in lots and lots of songs. It's kind of a triangle as well, just like our G chord was a triangle this way, the G7 is a triangle the other way. So you can see the triangle is pointing towards your nut rather than away from your nut. So that's how we play the G7 chord. And if you look at the fingering over there, you start with finger one there. So you build your chord from this, the first fret on the E string. Then you reach this finger up, the second fret, finger, and you put that on the C string, on the second fret, and then underneath that, on the A string, beneath it, you put your third finger. And once again, it's hard to build the chord with your fingers parallel to the fret wise, so you twist your hand slightly outwards and you'll find this much easier to do it from a slight angle like that. So that's our G7 chord. Listen to the difference between G major Quite a happy chord, G minor, which is quite a sad chord, and G7, which is neither happy nor sad but feels like it wants to go somewhere. It wants to go to C. <laughs> All right, so you'll find G7 in a lot of songs. Let's have a look at how we can play it. We're going to go really slowly because it is a three finger chord, and you're going to have to learn how to build it by making your hand shake going finger one, finger two, finger three. Handshake, finger one, finger two, finger three. And as before, we're going to have one strum and three clicks on the mini metronome here. And go really, really slowly. So we're going to move between C and G7, starting with C. One, two, three, four. C, build your chord quickly. G7, back to C. Handshake, one, two, three. C. C, handshake, one, two, three, G seven, C, G seven. So we're going to now go from F, which is a two finger chord, to our G7 shape. So remember the F, oh behave yourself, mini metronome, it's very keen. F to G7. Now the reason why F to G7 is quite easy in a sense, is because you know how we've got this finger down here for F, that becomes like a pivot. So there's our F, I lift this finger up, I keep that pointer finger down and just twist my hand down and do this. So between F and G7, I'm actually only moving two fingers, my ring finger and my middle finger. F, G7, F, G7, F, G7. So it's not actually that hard to do. As long as I keep this finger down on, the, on that string, the first fret on the E string, I can just twist my hand to make G7 or put my hand upright and make F. So let's give her a go and see how she feels to play. We'll start with the F. One, two, three, four. F. Pivot and make your G7. Then we go to F.
let's end off by jumping between A minor and G7. Now that is a bit of a jump because now we have a full change of fingers. A minor then needs to be built back into G7, then back to A minor, twist your hand, build your G7. Here we go. We will start with, let's start with G7. One, two, three, four. G7, A minor. Quickly build your G7. G7, A minor. One, two, three. G7, let them go. A minor. One, two, three. G7. practicing <laughs> be patient and you'll get stronger and more dexterous wishing you the best of luck come back and keep practicing with me thanks for watching